GCC is a key market for us, and we're demonstrating some of the platforms that uh, we're bringing into production in the area, in the in the region. Uh, this comprises our uh, silicon and uh, software platforms around uh, smart city infrastructure, traffic management, defense. Uh, come check us out here. Uh, we have demos and uh, products. Uh, excited to be talk to you about those. So Blaze is a, an AI computing uh, company. The core of our innovation is a new kind of a processor and then a software, software platform to enable uh, practical AI, uh, uh, physical AI. And, and the way we define practical AI is uh, really three components. Uh, there is the whole cloud AI that's happening. How do you act actually hybridize AI so that uh, Blazor systems coexist with the cloud to deliver uh, real time, real time, and real value to end customers in our chosen verticals like uh, smart city infrastructure, defense, uh, industrial automation, and so on. Uh, the second piece is focusing on real business outcomes. Most of the AI customers that we engage with in the physical world, they care uh, not not just about the technology, but how does the technology serve a business outcome? So, building a, a complete programmable platform to cater to this, comprising chips and software. Uh, this is the second key, pass, key aspect of uh, delivering practical AI. Uh, the third thing is efficiency. Most of these uh, projects come in with a certain amount of CapEx and OpEx budgets. How do you deliver AI uh, in a solution to meet these needs is the third aspect of it. So this is, uh, uh, the combination of these three is what we refer to as practical AI. The, some of the markets that we are seeing our solutions being deployed are smart city infrastructure, uh, traffic management. We're actually demonstrating some of the use cases. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, it's all about how do you, uh, in, in harsh desert conditions, uh, in uh, you know, 75 degrees centigrade, uh, withstanding those kind of temperatures and still deliver value, right? AI for traffic management and other solutions. So AI is a very powerful technology and it's, it's coming to all walks of our life. Uh, but but uh, one must be conscious about uh, carbon emissions and, uh, and the power consumption aspect as well. So at Blaze, what we built is inherently energy efficient solutions to cater to our customer needs. Uh, and, and when you look at the whole world, the amount of data that's out there in the physical world and, and, uh, and, and AI solutions created on top of this, uh, it's very important that uh, the power consumption energy be in within the accepted limits uh, so, so that uh, you know, it doesn't cause any uh, damage to the planet. Uh, rather, it's benefiting within the energy constraints, uh, creating a real business value, a real business outcome. So we've built a platform comprising energy efficient uh, processors, right, ground up, built for energy efficiency while delivering uh, AI to the end customer. So what we have here is our uh, first generation product, which is in the market and commercially shipping now. And uh, the, the chips that we have are delivered in the form of uh, industrial PCs or multiple of these chips in, a, in, a, in an industrial PC or in a server to, to serve many uh, applications, including camera-based traffic management solutions and others. So the key is uh, efficient compute and, uh, and then creating solutions to enable uh, real-world practical AI. So we're excited to be here with uh, Karshan, the chairman of uh, Yota, India's largest uh, sovereign AI cloud. Uh, for me, this is all about getting our AI uh, chips and cards and servers uh, into real practical AI in uh, Darshan's uh, Yota uh, Cam application that they have built. So these are focused on real-world applications like traffic monitoring, uh, uh, toll booth management, and so on. So this is all about bringing uh, AI to good use and productive use, and uh, that that was that is what we are excited about. Uh, I think um, two big reasons why we're both standing here together today. I think reason number one is Blaze's card does have a very good price and performance that it offers for certain visual analytics applications, and it's very well suited for that. 
I think cherry on the cake on reason number two is that this is probably one of the first AI chips that's entirely designed and has their entire design and development team in India. And we're very excited to work with a vendor who can actually put all that together and make that happen. So it's a, it's a very happy day for us. There are many locations for, a, for remote sites, construction sites, infrastructure development sites where they don't have enough bandwidth to send the stuff back to a big data center to analyze. Their edge boxes are really useful so that the data can travel either overnight, but they can get immediate analytics, immediate warnings, uh, you know, immediate uses uh, right there. So I think that's an equally important part, but I think the world is not one or the other. The central data center cloud operations will be equally important, and many specific applications will go on the edge. It's, it's really complementary. Both of them live in a very complementary environment. So, the, uh, you know, if you look at it, uh, we're focused on camera-based AI. That's the initial low-hanging fruit that, as a company, we went after and serving those markets. There's a lot of uh, deployed cameras already, uh, which are not AI smart, and the customers want to make them AI smart. Uh, so, so rather than ripping out the infra infrastructure and rebuilding, uh, we, we we help our customers with a combination of our industrial PCs, servers, blazed on the Blaze processors, and then a platform that will help customers easily deploy AI into their workflows. So, so this is how we've, we've approached it. So it's all about the right fit platform uh, that uh, customers can take and given their diverse use cases, keep uh, increasing the number of use cases, uh, true scalability, true adoption for their uh, practical use cases. So we see definitely uh, in, uh, in the initial markets around camera-based adoption, there are about a billion cameras installed worldwide and making these cameras smart is, is one of the key uh, growth drivers. So smart city infrastructure, uh, defense, right? Monitoring the perimeter uh, of an entire country. I think uh, that those are some of the big ones with, and also industrial automation. Uh, there's a lot of uh, factory-based automation for using AI for better efficiency. So these are uh, some of the big uh, growth drivers that we're witnessing uh, in our business. What we've created at Yota in India, of course, is a full stack, right from land to the data center building, uh, to managed services, and then, of course, having this public cloud, sovereign cloud layer that we've put together. We are extremely busy in India, but there are many opportunities in global markets, hopefully starting off with the GCC very soon. So we're quite excited uh, that we will roll out our Dishticam product and some of the other AI cloud products. Uh, starting off in Dubai, we're also looking at Saudi to get kicked off in Egypt.